Looking here, you can see pushing towards market. Actually, Link going to catch himself a little bit of company here. Wall goes down. Link actually finds the first, but he's traded out very quickly. The screen will find Bonker as well. So, let's see if they force the issue here onto B site. It isn't a quick response. They're still taking some bit of a time. They have a couple more seconds till that smoke would start to dissipate, so they can play around that. And they are. You can already see Leo opting for a fight towards the defensive side. That's score, the which is a bold play. Oh, that's a fumble. I don't love that fight. You want know to take that fight if you don't have the spike. Absolutely, buy a bit of time, but now that's lost in a choke point. It's going to be incredibly difficult to get back around. You're going to leave 25 seconds on the board. Yeah, the clock's already run down a lot, and you can see Soulcast not really biting on that bait there. Where it takes all the way back over towards A. All four members of Guild committed this way. It's a 2-2 split right now, but 13 seconds left. The flash comes through from Eccles, swings out, finds one. He does get traded, but Spike will go down in main here. You've seen six Time. seconds left now. Yep, he's got to get that Spike down. Actually, they bring it down to a 2v2. This is doable here for Guild. Spike goes down with a second left, 30 HP on you seen though. Yeah, and Scream's still alive, always kind of fills you with hope, doesn't it? But let's see if that aim's on point. Your scene says no. Swift will denial as Cryptix is getting awarded away by the paint shells, keeping him a little humble towards the top side, but definitely noting position now. Look at the switch up, both of them just creeping across towards the right side. Good pick up on Leo, but do they find the raise? They know that they're close towards site. 30 HP oh, he scene. He's got to play this so right. Ring around the roses we go. Cryptics can just charge. He's yep. got that SMG, and it looks like he's got the defuse. So, Liquid, the bonus round. Now, that's something to... If they can convert this round, but nothing really for Guild to do here. Maybe work around the revive, but again, you don't really want to be using that on a round like Ooh. this. You seen maybe a little bit of a bo body block there. Eccles with the aftershock actually catching a kill. You don't see that often. Not in a situation like that. No. A uh, bit bit unfortunate, it feels. Solcast on the dirty off angle, hearing more than I am. Aldrone going in towards the site, trying to clear it out. <laughs> and even not seeing anything, it gives you an idea. But I think Solcast just saw a pixel out of place. He does. That's Omen yeah. gone. Nice work from Solcast. Now, whether or not he can live beyond this is yet to be seen. The split through short should be coming in soon. Yeah, the reinforcements come through. You get Eccles and Scream coming through there. Safe actually creeping through window. I'm not sure if Scream would have seen that, but his teammates are close enough by it. Safe gets tagged up. That's about 15, 20 HP, it looks like. Link actually coming in for the flank here. Oh, he's going to get caught off guard. The stinger from Safe lands the headshot. A couple of the Liquid members are in two as well. Okay. Spike now down. 3v4. The HP on Guild is making me worried, though. Killjoy Sage is one of them, so maybe still a little bit of hope. But time will be dwindling soon enough. Scream still looking for an opportunity and none being given. Leo doing the dance, but you can see 25 seconds away from being able to get himself back into a tip-top condition. That's a big chunk of time. So Scream, Soul Cast, both on towards the side. This is a gorgeous retake thus far and safe now. Left in almost an unwinnable scenario. Soulcast, good play there, trying try to take the initiative, clearing that deeper corner, and the defuse comes in again. Good work. The timing now, but bear in mind that Killjoy has been on that side of the map for quite some time. Regardless, left. now moving in, it's going to be that late in the day sight hit, 25 seconds. This is going to be a problem. Luckily, they've got safe to bail them out there. You it's run. still going to be hard to stick the landing. Look at the timing left. Yep, 17 seconds left on the clock already, and actually the Hunter's Fury is going to be invested to destroy that lockdown, so that's going to give Liquid an opportunity to reinforce back onto site here. Cryptics all the way back in the boathouse. You're seeing good for two, but six seconds now. Spike finally getting planted. Guild will retain some control for the time being now. Liquid, two men left. Link and Soulcast coming through the defensive spawn right now, but there's a flank coming through. Drake and actually all the way around the back. He's going to land the headshot off the back of that paranoia. Okay, Solcas still locked out now. Oh, and he's got problems. Oh, and he's got answers to those problems. But now, though, this... Solcas, is, is he feeling himself today? Do we, do we get to see Solcas at full power now? Mm. I mean, this is doable here. You're seeing down to a lick of HP and safe. He is tagged up a little bit. Whether or not Solcas just plays for the exits here. Again, spike timer got to be ticking down right now. It looks like Guild are going to try and exit towards B main. If he can get rid of these weapons, then it's not a huge loss for Liquid. Naturally, yeah. they both die and... Yeah. Which plan to go for, but now with the support coming in, oh. now there's Spike a chance. Planted. Now there's, there's knives coming in, though. You've got to be a little careful. And the Killjoy does get invested into this one. Finally going to put that down and hope for the best, maybe giving you that avenue way back through. Yeah, and Scream just giving full roam, actually, to swing out from heaven. He's going to find two. You've seen a Bonkar fall. 
I'm gonna put that down. Again, the nano swarm on the spike gonna stop him getting off. Two HP on the screen right now. Link holding down the smoke. Leo's gonna find one through there. Drake can find the second. But the diffuser's coming through. Oh my god. That's actually gets shut down through the smoke there. Safe will clean the works the theory out. You've got to be careful now. Already screen wants to go oh. again and he fails this time. Safe is there. Safe is keeping so much information locked away from Liquid. And finally, Soulcast does avenge his fallen teammate. But by now, look at this explosive play. Two players were committed towards that B side. So this is a straight up retake. And again, this is going to be a plate, uh, spike plant coming down. So I've got to say, I like how Gilder approaching this. A lot yeah. of faith in Safe to keep this one under wraps. Again, just kind of, uh, again, leaving them out on an island. Yes, if that push comes through from Scream, it's not going to matter too much. Drake can actually lurk in top mid here. Can spot out e Eccles with Spectre coming through. <laughs> Lots of spam coming through towards heaven. Just trying to shut down any push coming through too close. But the problem being now, Drake and able to lurk all the way back. Eccles seemingly unaware of it coming through now. Three kills for Leo on site now. Eccles, the last man standing. Oh. It'll be the fourth for Leo. You have to see how Gil approaches him. Left. For me, again, it's that kind of methodical clearing. Cryptic's going to be given a chance, and he's going to take it with both hands. Yassine didn't quite clear the corner as well as he'd want, and he's going to be outdone. So now you're going to see Eccles put to the test. You do have, I think, a frenzy to play with as well. Like, Flash is coming oh in, and an even better swing. Good damage, good information. We take that. This, if anything, will set up Scream to do left. more damage. They have tried to put him in the right place for this. He has the rifle, he has the armor, and he's in the right place. But look at the time, three seconds. Gilda running that clock so low. Oh, indeed, naturally. Let's see Liquid now. They're here quick. They're going to manage to stack up behind that lockdown field. Already going for the retake now. Bonkar going to hold tight underneath lane. You see Drake in her back sight now. This arrow comes through. Could be deadly if it pings these players on lane. And actually, yes, the wall band could come through. See a lot of damage going through. Drake and going to find Soulcast. Link actually trading that one back with a Sheriff now. Into the 2v2, 2v1 call. It Scream finds Drake in a 1v1 now. 100 HP on Leo. Scream is tagged up. No smokes left. Just touching the spike there, you can see Scream. You can see yes. that spike is running down on time. Scream, he's got it. I think he's, he's run out of it. Yep. Beautifully played out in the end by Leo. Just really considered approach. Scream's dead. See at least a buy now coming back out for Liquid. And Scream again, going to be put to task. And if he can back away, it's going to be pretty tricky. You can see the line of sight that he's worried about is being held. He, oh, he does, does Leo, find it. Great work. That's what you need from Scream. He does eventually go down. That splash damage is wild for your scene. Yeah, manages to trade that one back out with the showstopper. Again, that aggression going completely countered on the side. And actually, Draken has managed to find his way all the way through market. He's going to manage to get his smoke off on the defensive spawn side. Solkas now traipsing through. Not sure of the man that fell on the side of Liquid. I think it was Eccles there, but it gives some entry onto B site now. Spike trailing a little late through B main, but got to be careful that smoke doesn't fall. And it does indeed. Are they going to be able to get the second over? They do. And... That's going to give them the opportunity to push through now. So once again, Guild pivoting really well off that early round aggression shown on one side of the map. Spike planted. Spike again planted. Sight now taken. Liquid have been outdone. Now keep in mind that they did win the pistol. So at this point, you've got to say, Guild, once they got into those gun rounds, got the economy favorable, they have been absolutely on top of this game. You've seen in the dirtiest angle, the hardest to clear. Look how deep oh, that corner out. goes. It's so filthy at buying time, and he's so good at playing it. Seconds to pass. This is all worth its weight in gold. Cryptids all... finally commits, but everyone's been yeah, seen. Yep, all been seen, and they're all uh, a couple of them tagged up, actually. Soulcast down to just a lick of HP. You can see he's trying to play it safe there. Cryptic's going to come out. And there you go. Three kills in favor. Fall at the end of that one. And right now, look at this. Guild looking to explode straight onto b site. Scream walks into his own smoke there. We'll find Yassine. First blood in favor of Liquid. But once again, the response, as you've said, has been so good by Guild. I'm not sure how much that's going to matter right now. Well, again, look how many players are here, though. There are so many players present for the defending side on towards the B site. That's four of the players. So they might have to peel away for this for Guild. I don't know how much they've seen or heard or noted. But if they did commit towards it, they'd be dead in the water. But we've seen those double pumps before. They're not afraid to do it. The Okay, so, so if you're unaware what that means, essentially, is they've shown a lot of presence towards B initially. They back away. They might show some presence elsewhere on the map. And then they double pump back around to B after hopefully causing rotations. And speaking of causing rotations, it looks like that's somewhat happening. Look at Omen. Yeah. Look at Jet. Both towards A for now. So a bit more of a favorable fight, but still not an easy one for Guild to go in against an uh-oh. <laughs> I'm seeing the Sinatra special coming out it. to play. I see it. <laughs>
The interesting thing to consider here, though. Liquid, four ultimates. Oh, there's Zogash just catches. This could be huge if he finds both of these. He does indeed. Leo and Safe going to fall to the Spectre there. The sneaky Solkas. That leaves Guild on two now. And this is the time. Pop your ultimates. Try and secure this one now. Close it out. 7-5. Guild find themselves in a 2v5 now. Hunter's Fury reinvested back on the other side, but the recon going to give them all the information they need. They swing on. Cryptic finds the first. Link finds the second. Yeah, so I'll know what's up now. And yes, they could maybe get a Spectre away if they wanted to try and isolate Scream, but he wants to go on the ultimate backstab. He might get the right timing for it. Let's see if Guild can make anything of this, maybe cost a couple of guns here and there. You could already see the Omen, of course, is a little low. So maybe potentially could fall foul, but you already got Cryptics on the case. Going to be the first port of call, at least if they try and go for a swing. I think there might be Breach watching the cross as well, but actually no. It falls a little deeper as the Killjoy turret goes in. Going to force a little bit of information. But bear in mind the time is ticking the entire way through. <laughs> that actually does a lot of damage to, to save. Yep, look at that. Look <laughs> at the HP. state of the HP. Ugh, that's rough. There comes Scream. Finally makes his appearance, creeping through that defensive side. And imminently. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty quick hit too. Scream's going to lead the charge straight away, but Zom needs to clear hell. Killjoy is waiting down there. Nice Big adjustment. Kill. Really Big good kill. work. And the site is at least theirs for now. Probably safe enough for a spike plant at this point. May get a little dicey down the end, but let's see if they can at least get the spike planted. Bronco does find Scream. So that's one player removed, but he was already very low HP from that initial battle with Killjoy. Yeah, obviously playing entry there. We got tagged up a little bit right now. Guild, actually going to find the wallbang. Bonkar going to find Link in hell. Maybe not going to expect Eccles to be the second stacked up there. Wall comes up, gives Leo a secondary angle. He's going to jump to the top of Jen now. They are still aware somebody could be down here. And actually, you've seen swings on it. Eccles will fall. Two members left for Liquid now. I think there's maybe one more Nano Swarm on the bomb. But again, Spectres versus the Rifles. Guild cleaned this one up. Liquid did the important thing though. Two kills and the spike plant. So economy wise, that's a worthwhile bonus in my eyes. Yeah, no, absolutely no problem with that. And the smoke. <laughs> Ops not to give any information away. Because they actually, you see, the door has Get closed and he's in market for Scream <laughs> twice to it. He's going to jump the second. Bonkar will fall. Finds himself now in a 5v3 for Liquid. Scream so sharp, already looking pretty good with the blades out. Link now looking to do his bit of damage, but it's Scream again! And again, Scream doesn't know when to lose. He doesn't know how to die. He's just doing all the damage. And this is why you put Scream in your roster every day of the week. That ultimate just looks so comfy for him. Again, winning an ultimate off the, uh, sorry, winning a round off the back of one ultimate like this, it, it's why you love to see a jet player pop off. You have so much impact just on a round by round basis now. Scream on the hunt. Maybe going to try and remove this weapon from Leo's hands. But wow, what a round from him. Again, waited out as well. He, you know, he wasn't getting tricked in. He wasn't getting baited in. That drone, obviously lurking outside the smoke, he was just waiting to peek out there and obviously the advantage then comes to whoever's the sover on the other end of that drone but again why is to your scene being tucked in market even though the door was closed <laughs> scream is so good man that's why i was interested to see it invested in the way it was really when they had total control of the site so you see now trying to hold down doesn't matter at all you see the leo We'll find the Sheriff headshots. Don't worry about the showstopper. You find two kills of Sheriffs anyway. Just the Deagle bros just chilling out over towards A. This will encourage the hit, but there's a lot of players here. Um, I, uh, there's actually a great deal of players. Safe's going to find Soulcast. Oh, no. oh, this is a tragedy not in the like making. This. Yeah, can I get a not like this, chat? Please just put it in, Jack, because I am feeling a little nervous about this one. I'm not loving it. Who do they have left? Is Scream alive? No. So there's a problem, and the problem's down the cryptics here. Ooh, it's, ooh, it's dirty. And they have the vulnerability on the alarm bot, but Guild keep five up, Liquid keep five up. So 5v5 now in the post plant. Let's see what Guild tries to do. Only the revive on the board, no other ultimates whatsoever. 
we go. Wall goes up. Peek over the top. Link is more than happy to greet that with a smile. Bonk, oh. though, up to the challenge. Link doubled down. Finding a scene as well as safe now has to work their way forward. The Killjoy pick certainly caught our attention, but that also will catch us. The trade coming back through. Draken's pinned on the site itself. Up and over on the TP. Where is the defuse going to come from? They need to start working on this right now, but these post plants, they're holding strong and scream on 9 HP. Emboldened by the rage as Cryptix is there as well. And it's an excellent win from Liquid. Honestly, we've already seen how Guild likes to approach on their attack. It is That's done. Hello, safe. Can hmm. I have your config? Because hmm. my, my, my smokes look different. Yeah. Damn. No, I can't see through mine. Um... I mean, look, we take those. We take it's those a frenzy all day long. as well, man. It's a frenzy. <laughs> of all the sight hit coming in once the guns came out, at least this so far, as you've seen, making a light work of soul cats. No instantaneous impact. Nice little slight off angle to play with, and it played perfectly into what he wanted. Echo's still leering forward. Bear in mind, they are just on the pistol, so a plant and a little bit of damage would be pretty good work, and they've at least thwarted one away from the site itself. We have to see if that spike does manage to make its way in towards position. Yeah, pick up the orb. Make sure they get an extra ultimate orb out of it at least. Ooh, you seem gonna land the headshot onto Scream as well, onto Pipes. Three members of Liquid now gonna get mowed down. Leo finds two cryptics, trades back with the ghost for 30 HP. I think he's gonna be able to get much more done and there you go, cleaned up finally. So. Little bit of damage done, but he's very close to site. One is going to be detained, so Spike should be planted without any contest at the moment. There goes that later round utility to ensure that no easy retake comes in. Link will get him a second to kind of readjust, get a better post plant. Barrel now spotted. Oh, spotted. Leo's definitely seen that. Trying to work a pick off the back of this. Instantly screams in trouble now. You can see them trying to work it out, and they do. Leo's right there on the verge of making this one look a little bit more dangerous. What's another? This is not bad work from Gil. This is a great little retake for time. Really? Will be of the essence. They still need to work this one. They still need to get going. Oh, is this going to be a nice little lineup? That should be going towards the spike itself. Is there any it's damage damaging. being taken? It's damaging. Yes, there is a good chunk of damage coming in. That spike is now a problem. Last player standing. Echoes finds another there. Oh. Yeah, tried to stick it through, but Leo over in mid, but like they're leaning towards B-Site. You've seen, takes a swing through the Marshall. Does land a tag, but no kill. So looking like Spike is going to go down relatively uncontested here. Yeah, no ability to stop this now. And especially with Viper still alive and kicking, you're going to have at least a decent post pawn. Five players for Liquid against the four of Guild. Guild did pull up almost a pretty dangerous retake. That was off the barrel being spotted on screen, but keep in mind the weapons for Guild are very weak this round in compar into comparison to what they'd want. More goes up, so maybe a little bit more of a chance here, standing. but Link says no. Big denial. Draken is seeing a full foul to it as Leo now left in a dire situation. Going to make Ooh. good work towards Link, but the time's still ticking and there's still so many bodies in the way. No more to be found. Solcast keeping Link from your scene, but it looks like he wants to double back around. It was Scream who popped the blades <laughs> Storm, and we saw how well that went last time. Give a little control from your scene in the end. Clean kill, three more. That's going to be a second. Couldn't quite make any more of it, but the damage is already being done. Guild finally putting a stop to the rot. Liquid not getting away with anything anymore. Big Link kill. has to get a quick revive in for the kill. Instantly put through. This is Liquid clawing his back. Yeah, they put it to a 3v3 here. Yeah, the revive what gets through. They tried to counter world. that with the Spike Hunter's planted. Fury, and actually. Viper ultimate goes down on site. So this makes it very difficult here for Guild. Again, one member, very low HP, no possibility of heal. Draken creeping up on the raft, just finds Link. First of all, Flash goes through. That's going to blind Cryptic. But he doesn't spawn until the last second. He still finds the headshot now. 2v2. Viper still sat in that ultimate, not allowing a second for them to work on one HP, oh, safe, yeah, trying to do what he can. There oh, goes him. the pig, not bad, okay. Timings of the essence, Cryptics did well to find that kill just a second ago, and he knows there's trouble ahead, and he finds both of them. Incredible play by Cryptics. Um, makes me think of Asmongold, you know? <laughs> Love a bit of World of Warcraft. Uh, we do have the ultimate invested, at least for now, from Killjoy. You see, still working around. This might have a bit of work in front of What? Link just gave him the backhand. Just straight up backhanded him out of there. That should have been that should have been a kill every day, every yeah. day of the week. We've been liquid thinking twice about this. Onto A site.
kill my ally. Actually, no. Link picked up the orb. He went back. And we'll get Soulcast back on his feet. So it brings it to a 4v4. And the important thing being, Soulcast does left. have the showstopper online. Only ultimate on the side of Guild is the TP from this man, Draken, on your screen. Now he's going to get pushed through the smoke, though. Echoes finds the headshot. Soulcast will push all the way through behind screens, desperately looking to convert this showstopper. Doesn't find anything at all, though, but it gives them sight control. That'll be enough. We'll, we'll, it's not ideal, but it's at least a start. Not sure if he it. saw anything. Now he definitely has. And Bokker outdoes him again. Some of these peaks have been, you know, mostly the... Uh, going the way you don't expect at this point. Leo's still very much kind of patrolling around. You still have Eccles there as well. The time still dwindling. Guild down to two. Leo Last doing everything he can to keep this one in check. But Sage v Sage. It's going to be Link on top. And Cryptic's now been the deadliest player for Liquid thus far. And it's going to be Link to have a nice little close down. Up. And obviously they've done yeah. their homework. It's choreographed rehearsed and they're looking really really strong here disciplined the screen finds you seen deep in b lane actually leo stacked up with him gonna find two so actually brings it to a 3v3 liquid no revive on the board now without the viper this site take is a little bit trickier they've kind of had to go back to a little bit more traditional sense of how to take the site does leave sage a little pin towards a plant but a good trade for cryptics at least keeps this one in towards that 2v2 realm now we're gonna see soul cast great off angle there safe now left in the 1v1 and a retake with an op is never easy i wonder if he switched out i don't think he has oh, and he'll get punished cryptics is the absolute lineman here not less Storms in hand just creeping Looking for something. Spike will go down relatively unopposed. Welcome to my world. And again, there you go, the Viper. Holt getting popped there. Screen finds the first headshot. Marshall swing out and actually gonna look to aggress here. Doesn't land the second, but that's his through. Oh my god, Bonko inside the site will catch a headshot too. Screen. Fantastic reaction there. Just so good under that sort of pressure. Link is the one to close it out, but the man shop. But for now, we see a quick plant coming in and a well-prepared attacking side. Guild aren't going to go out with this one laying down. They did win that previous pistol, so they could definitely do with this. No, this is the ferocity you want to see them respond with here. 5v5 now, actually, Spike goes down. Not a kill either way, as I say that. Screen will find a cheeky you seen up in the rafters. Now, things slow down a little bit as Liquid frantically try and clear here, but the Spike planted in a weird spot. Guild, good for three kills now. Liquid, two men standing. Echoes will find the first, but One are they going to be able to get this defuse off? Oh, the time is running so nope. low. Yeah, safe, nicely played out in the end. It's very difficult to recover because you then rely on the ultimate economy. Looking through the smoke. Yeah, Cryptics is so aware of that. You see, you're not going to get away with any sort of cheekiness trying to come left. through on the plays. And with 30 seconds on the board, Guild need to make their minds up. That slow, meticulous play not really paying off here. Very, very tricky to make that slower approach work. There are chances for it, but those long rotations are going to be punished. Look Safe, still Look trying to keep their attention. Standing. Keep your eyes on that spike. Bonkar left in a, a 1v4. Does get himself the Phantom, left. but he's got to get the spike down and somehow do something with this. He's got to be aggro here as well. Uh, again, you might think, yes, he's last man up, play your life, but for me, he's got to find a kill. Move, so, yeah, yeah, he's got he's got to get that kill early on and increase his chances. Freebie. Let's see if he gets the freebie. That that's what we need to start with. It's oh. it's got to be clean. Yeah, he does. Okay, clean enough. Now he needs to find somehow clean kills again. A one v two is feasible oh. if they peak at the same time. He's in trouble. Oh. Oh. And you can see Liquid letting them take the pawn. They know this retake is going to be brutal. But keep your eyes on that omen working through middle. It could be the only game changer here. Yeah, well, looks like Bonkar is going to retreat back. Maybe play that Hunter's Fury. He's on the backside of pipes right now. Safe. Going to give up front of sight as well. They leave Leo tucked behind server here. Impossible. He's going to find the first as well. Comes through. Actually finds the second. Two big kills from him. There should be a one and done spot. Screen. Cryptic's good for one apiece. There you go. Hunter's Fury popped. And we'll get the tag on. And actually Drake with the flank as well. All the kills going in favor of Guild. But now comes down to a 1v1. Timing is everything, and they're running out of it. Draken might have just done this at the right time. Eccles can do nothing. He's checking as quickly as he can. He's been pulled to half, but Draken's there Big to save. And Eccles oh, is still here. Be 
faster. Oh, Yassine the time actually is got great. behind him. Yeah, oh. nice work to Yassine. Perfect positioning, just as you, as you said, wrapped around. And that's going to be uh, a pretty much control. Um, uh, hello? There we go. Okay. Scream. <laughs> Spike planted. What's going on? I thought they were on the same team for a second. <laughs> Did they see? Yeah, just a pixel there shown. Soulcast not getting away back through. You shouldn't do a killjoy popping down. Oh, we've got both of them the going counter, up. Okay, yeah. this is. Uh, I, I don't know if the timing's going to be right for this. It's, it's definitely forced way. the attacking side back. You can see the ultimate now, or hear the ultimate now being popped. Everything to pull through to this. And where is the defuse? It was already halfway up. We need to see if they keep sticking on this one, or if they still commit to this one. You can see Guild now desperate to get back in the liquid. One oh, enemy both remaining. God keeps off one. Leo again, though. One and now enemy. timing is everything. They're running out oh, of it. Oh, oh, gas. You absolutely got it. He might have just done this Clutch. to save him again. Liquid. Sick play going. Incredible numbers coming up and valuable kills. You're seeing Stephanie caught a bit of a glimpse of at least one towards B, but it's safe to find Soulcast this time around. Echo's still playing down below with the judge, but he's in all kinds of trouble. Oh, what? Okay, they didn't spot him. He finds your scene, and actually, the Hunter Fury not able to flush him out of that corner. Only the first scream, scream That's swings so and finds Leo. All the attention was put towards clearing out that Viper, so Scream just took the swing around while their attention was drawn the other way. Such good play there. Really nice coordination and cohesion between the players to understand when's the best time to exploit it. And now Found Guild them. left with three. I want to see how they try and navigate around this. You do have one player kind of behind enemy, enemy lines. It could work out well for them, but... Drakken needs to do some serious work here, and Scream's gone and found it's one. This is long. not looking so good. Yeah, it's lost that emphasis, that punch. It looks like Viper's already considering the chance of a flank. Last player standing. Actually, look, it's Link that comes up on the back side. Safe will fall. Draken, last man standing now. The last hope for Guild, and Echoes will Defenders land it. Win. And send Guild home.